everyone welcome to my channel <laughs> all right you guys today what i'm gonna do is i think i'm gonna do a makeup look um i might uh you know at certain points come in and talk i probably will so this video is probably going to be long okay because you know if i do any talk through videos they they're going to be at least 40 minutes long if not a little bit over maybe 40 to 45 minutes long but that's just me okay i always like to be me so all right so let's go ahead and get started and yeah if y'all looking at me and i look just like tired that's because i am you guys i had to uh I had to be outside for about two hours, maybe two hours and a half. Then I had to do a few errands because I had to get my house, what is it called, exterminated. Yeah, this apartment had to be exterminated today. For what reason, I do not know because I do not have cockroaches and things maybe it's just for preventative reasons uh but anyways yeah i'm tired yeah i'm tired and plus my house is a mess now because everything had to be removed you know what it's like if you had that issue with pest control and stuff like that so my house now is a mess then tomorrow i gotta go back in and clean up all the mess so yeah i'm just not having a wonderful day today but i'm not gonna let it destroy my spirits because i wanted to come back and do a video and in fact i'm gonna do it today all right so first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to moisturize my skin do all of my skin prep uh things i'm going to use I just dropped my damn lotion. I just lost. I just dropped my lotion, okay? Alright, so I'm gonna use my ELF um daily hydration moisturizer, my ELF illuminating eye cream as I always do, and also there's one more product. Yes, my Olay Regenerous Luminous Facial Oil Daily Treatment. I'm going to use all of the, I'm going to use all of these products and then I'm going to come back with foundation, okay? So there might be a, a little bit of a uh, first impression. It's not a first impression because I've been using the foundation. Um, I might just tell you a little bit about a foundation which I think I have done in a blog but you will be able to see for yourself about one particular foundation but anyways let me go ahead and get started with my skin prep okay and I will be back Go ahead and begin with foundation um yeah you guys i am just so tired i hope it doesn't show but it probably does it's like i've had pest control where they come in and put out gel first it was spray and i didn't like the spray the spray made me sick um and then they sort of use a gel and gel works right with me and then today they had a schedule for a fog whatever they call it fogger so it's like you have to remove everything out of the room that they're going to put uh the fogger or whatnot or the bait and yeah my house is a total mess now. I had to take out everything. Stuff laying around everywhere. 
anyway you guys okay let's go ahead i ain't got time to talk about that let's go ahead with foundations okay what i'm going to use i'm going to use three different foundations um i'm going to use uh the milani conceal and perfect two-in-one foundation and concealer in 019 um i'm going to use this and then i'm going to use the mac studio fix fluids this one is an NC30. I think this is a little too light now, just a little bit. I probably need NC35 or NC37. Probably 37 now that it's warming up. But anyways, I got NC30 if you wonder what shade I got from, from that, from the MAC Foundation or the MAC, what is it? The MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation. And then I'm going to mix uh, the Dior Skin Nude Air. Um, yeah, and this is in 023. So I'm going to mix all the foundations up. Usually I come up with a great match. We will see. I have used this product. You guys, I kind of use this for... I rarely use it alone. However, I have used it alone. I feel like it's one of those foundations that you can use just when you're out when you're in a like you don't want much makeup on in other words if you don't want much makeup on then use this i feel like it's a light coverage but it does conceal or it kind of uh camouflages problem areas on the skin but it's very light it's not full coverage but it's a lovely finish on the skin it's more natural on the skin so what i've been doing if i don't want a natural looking makeup uh look i just kind of mix this um into other foundations because i like the shade the shade is like a peach tone and it kind of just helps with the blending and the mixing of other foundations to fit my skin tone so i'm hoping the foundations that i have do uh blend in well and match my skin but we shall see so i'm gonna apply this foundation to my skin I still have a few a little bit more foundation that's left but I feel like this is okay it's medium it's medium coverage because I added the um, Dior skin nude air I feel like this really thins out foundation as well um, if you're looking for a product like that that would thin out thick foundations or something like that um you may want to check that foundation out like i said it's not a full coverage foundation it thins out thicker foundations or full coverage foundations and also it's great when you need a foundation just to blend in with other foundations to create your on or to get your match for your skin now when i have a little bit more product than what i need like i have put too much around here I just grab a uh, like a cosmetic sponge like this and go across my skin and just get some of that product up. That's what I've been doing a lot lately. So yeah, I think that's okay. I'm going to leave it like that. I think it's good. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use... Um, I was going to do kind of like a first impression on one of those foundations, but I feel like I could do one um or not a first impression but a review of my thoughts type of video or something on a couple of those foundations i have a lot of videos in mind to do but i have to do it as i can but today i'm just going to do a uh video 
Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is my brows. I think I'm going to do something a little quick today. I'm going to use my Ardell, um, I forget the name of it. It's a brow pencil by Ardell. This one is in the shade medium. So I'm going to use it and just uh, go over my brows. I'm not going to put no wax or anything on my brows. just going to try to uh, do this really quick like and get it done. Alright, I think that's good enough. Might be uneven, you guys. I'm trying to do the best I can today. I'm just exhausted. Okay, but anyways, um, so the next step is, uh, the next step, I <laughs> bit my lip. <laughs> the next step is the Inglot Eye Makeup Base. I'm going to apply this to my eyelids. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to use is the Aziza Cream to Powder Foundation. You guys, I have been doing the same thing as you can tell with the skin products, the eye makeup base. But once I find something that's good, it's hard for me to change because it works so good. This helps me to blend out my eyeshadows a little bit better than not using this product. If I was just... You know, applying the eye base and not putting nothing on top of it. I feel like the uh, blending uh, ability for me would be hard. But this makes it easy for me, okay? So, I, you know, you probably say, it's the same old thing. Well, I'm sorry. This works for me. So, I'm going to apply this on top of my lids. So we got that going. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, let me get this out of the way real quick. Um, okay. I'm going to take my, I'm going to put my mirror first of all in a good place so I can see my eyes a little better. Okay. So I'm going to use for sure, um, possible three palettes okay i'm going to use for sure the mac palette i'm going to use <clears throat> maybe a few shadows from this palette i just mentioned in the video the uh, nude buys um eyeshadow palette i might use a few shades from there from out of that palette and then i might have to grab this one shade miss jones new york signature um, contour palette but I use it for eyeshadows mainly might have to use this shade and maybe even this shade depending on everything but I think I have everything together I think okay so alright the first shade would be my transition sh shade or what I'm going to put in my crease so I'm going to grab um, no 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 this is what I've been doing lately I've been going ahead putting on my brow bone uh, color. You remember I used to do that first uh, for a long time and then I stopped doing it here recently, but I miss it. So out of this new palette here, the new palette here, uh, I'm going to use this shade called Style. It's just a beautiful, beautiful, um, very highlighted shade on the brow bone. I like it. I think it's very pretty on the brow bone so just gonna highlight that part of my eye um i'm not gonna say very lightly because i end up using a good bit of product but yeah
And I'm going to go back in with the blending brush. This is just an LA Colors Professional Eyeshadow Blender. And I'm just going to blend that highlight out just a little bit. So it doesn't look so chunky on the brow bone. I think I'm going to use Saddle from the MAC um, Warm Neutral Palette here. Um, so I'm going to take that into the crease. Um, Saddle is this shade right here. I'm looking forward to buying the other palettes. I really like uh, the MAC shades. They just glide on the eye. Alright, so I think I'm going to take the shade, let's see, Dark Brew right here. I'm going to take that shade and um, put it into the crease really, really um, thick to build up the crease in a sense. Build up the crease with a deeper shade is what I'm trying to say. I really love this shade. I'm going to take this shade Fancy here out of this palette. I really love that shade. I just think it is just a beautiful, beautiful shade. I can't stop using it. It's just that spectacular. I'm going to use this on my lid here and kind of like uh, blend it on into that uh, dark brew MAC eyeshadow color. Then I'm going to blend it all together in a minute yeah like that it's cute if you see this palette I'm telling you you will like it look how pigmented this uh, eyeshadow is I mean even I mean all the shades are just so so beautiful and so pigmented Alright you guys, this look is like, I'm okay with it, okay? I am okay. Now, the thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back with this MAC palette here. Put in a little bit more of this dark brew shade. Just a little bit more so I can still see it. I want that to be very uh, bold into the crease. I'm pretty okay as far as the eyeshadows. So now it's time for my liner on my top lash line and, um, and mascara. I'm going to use the MAC False Lashes Mascara sample here. And so, yeah, and, and then I'll come back with the concealer, okay? Alright, so now it's time for concealer. Now, I do have a new concealer. Um, this is the NYX um, Gotcha Covered Concealer. It's new for me. I just 
notice this in the store um it says it's waterproof which would be great for the summertime um and it's full coverage it says that um this velvety concealer indulges the skin with rich coconut oil uh, while masking discoloration and imperfections all right so mm, i don't know i might have to buy this just to put on the certain areas of my face but yes brand new and this one is in golden so i hope i got the right shade we'll see but i'm gonna try this out i guess i'll try out without the uh age rewind uh maybelline i usually see that use that and usually i use a corrective concealer and also the merle norman concealer but I'm going to do this and let you see or just let you know what I feel about it. So I'm going to go ahead and get some of this. It's a squeezy bottle. You know, you squeeze the product out. Kind of remind me of the Hard Candy Concealers. Hopefully this matches. I got golden, so we'll see how well. Um... Oh, it's very smooth on the skin. Oh, this could. It's very golden. I think I could have went up a shade. I mean, you know, got a brighter shade. I don't know. We'll see. Just kind of patting it in just to feel it. And it's very soft. It is, um, it is velvety. It's, it's smooth easy to blend and it is got it has a lot of coverage so i'm trying to get all the way up to my lash line here i'm probably making a mess but i want to get way up there on my lash line now i'm going to take i don't have the proper brushes because my brushes needs to be clean i'm just going to take this brush and just kind of blend the edges out on the side of my eyes just to blend everything out so it looks blended and you guys I do like this I need more shades uh, I want a lot of shade to conceal this one matches my skin tone so I did good matches really well so this is actually taking some product off and it's also blending. As far as this brush, it really works um, to do that. Not mad. Look at this concealer. You can you <clears throat> you can leave it on a little thicker, but I don't want it on too thick today. I'm just going to do the same thing over here on this side. I do love this concealer, you guys. Um, so, so far, so good. Um, I hope it doesn't crease. I wouldn't know if it's going to crease or not. But I do know because it has that coconut oil in it, it is moisty. So, I feel like most likely um, it may have a tendency to crease because it's moisturizing. That's usually what happens with very moisturizing concealers. But I love that because I have dry under eyes and it really is smoothing out those um, my dry skin underneath my eyes. So that's a good thing. Get up under that lash line really good. Alright, it's starting to dry up so I'm going to take that brush one more time just blend everything out around the edges and on the corner sides of my eyes as well
I think the um, the concealer by NYX because it has coconut oil, it kind of produces a luminous finish underneath the uh, under eye. So yeah, it's not matte. So it, it, it has like this luminous type of finish. It's very moisturizing. Okay. So that's another thing that I realized by the, um, for the first time. Um, <laughs> I'm dropping stuff, you guys. For the first time of me using it, that's what I noticed about the product already. Okay, so now I'm going to set my, let's see, I'll go ahead and finish my eyes. I'm going to grab another shade out of the MAC eyeshadow palette. I'm going to grab the shade, um, I think I'm going to grab the shade Brune again and the shade, this shade right here. I don't know what it is. Uh, I think it's Amber Lights, I believe. Yeah, Amber Lights. Uh, brew and, um, what is it? Dark Brew and Amber Lights. These two shades, okay? <laughs> Y'all don't know the shade names. I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm going to take this brush here and just blend the two. I'm going to take my uh, MAC false eyelashes mascara, but first of all, I'm going to line my waterline on the bottom lash line with the Flower Beauty uh, Forever Wear eyeliner. So now it's time to set my foundation and I have to say y'all the foundation it does match pretty good those three foundations that I use not bad okay all right so I'm gonna take my flower beauty um, miracle matte translucent finishing powder first I'm gonna take that and I'm going to apply some of this onto my face. All right, so now it's time for bronzer, okay? I'm going to take my, the same palette, Jerome Alexander um, Contour Palette, or 
contour kits. I'm gonna take it and apply the say and apply these two shades right here. Probably just this one here today. Alright, let's apply this right on top. I still want some face powder, so I'm going to take this Inglot um, Advanced Makeup uh, AMC Press Powder in 66. I'm going to take this and apply this to my face just a little bit just to get. Sometimes, sometimes I wait to after I use my bronzer, and I feel like the bronzer just. What is it? Distribute a little better onto my face um, when I do when I apply the press powder last. So yeah. All right, let's get it me. All right. I'm just gonna apply a little bit more of the. Um, the powder that I used to highlight my under eye, I'm, I'm going to apply just a little bit more of that product of um, these three shades here underneath the eyes. Just a little bit more. Now for blush, I'm going to use uh, two bronzers, the Palladio uh, Illuminating Tan, and then I'm going to use the Palladio uh, Baked Bronzer in Atlantic Tan. But I think I'm just going to use one of these. I think this is my highlighting shade. Yeah. Never mind, I got the wrong one. I mean the one in Pacific Tan, sorry. The Becca Backlight Priming Filter. I'm going to put a little bit of this onto the top of my cheeks. Ugh, I always get too much. Just, just a little bit. Now you can leave it just like that, um, but I'm going to intent. <laughs> you can leave it just like this. As you can see, you see that little glow there, but I want it to be a little bit more intensified. So I'm going to grab the um, 
Palladio Baked Bronzer in Atlantic Tan. I'm going to sweep this across my cheeks really smoothly like. See there? Just to intensify the backlight filter primer by Becca. Just to give it a more of a glow there. That's good with me. So, mm, the only thing is that I'm looking at my under eyes and I feel like I put too much blush on. So, I'm just going to try to blend that powder on out down a little bit underneath my eyes here. Just a little bit. Now, that looks a little better. So now I'm going to spray my face. Alright, I'm going to spray my face with the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Hydrating Primer Mist. I'm going to spray my face. Alright. And lipstick. Okay. What did I do with my lipstick? I forgot my lipstick. I will be right back, okay, with lipstick. Okay, I have my lipstick and lip liner here. I have my Rimmel Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner in 030 Natural. And then I'm going to use the uh, Malibu Glitz Brilliance Lipstick in Chrome. Okay, so I'm going to line my lips real quick. As you can tell, I overlined my lips, okay? I want that look today. So I'm going to take the lipstick, which is almost gone. My favorite nude lipstick. Alright, so I hope you enjoy this makeup look. This is just what I wanted to do. I mean, y'all know me. I just been into basically, you know, just like, uh, I just been comfortable with, I don't know, just today has not been the best of day. I mean, I wanted to do something vibrant and stuff, but this is what I come up with for today. I got to go off. I am exhausted. I'm tired. So, y'all, I hope y'all enjoy this makeup look. I mean, it's very simple. As you see, I only use like three shades, I think, maybe four. And just kind of blend it, blended the eyeshadows out, as you can see here. And so now you can see, or at least you got to see the MAC eyeshadow palette. You got to see how um, the nude eyeshadow palette is easy to, you know, smooth out as far as blending. Um, I might come back with another eye makeup look at some point and just have use that one palette. You was able to see the contour palette by Jerome Alexander, the contour kits. Um, so I wanted to make sure I show you those products and even this, um, this mascara by MAC. It's the False Lashes. I love this mascara. Look at my eyelashes, you guys. Look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? Like, no clumps. 
just beautiful natural lashes i'm giving my lashes a break but you guys i want some falsies on so bad i don't know how long this is gonna last but i know i want that mascara anyway whether i wear uh false lashes or if i go for a natural look i want that mascara and this concealer is wonderful you guys i love it it is the nyx gotcha covered um concealer it's waterproof very good coverage as you've seen um this is new i saw it today my shade is in golden love it and so you got you kind of you know you had a first impression type of video in with this tutorial okay because this is totally new to me i just opened up the package so you you heard what i feel about it but I would have to wear this product for a while before I could come back and tell you if I really, really like it or if there's any creasing. So far, it looks wonderful. So far, so good. I do feel like you have to uh, set this concealer. But however, I will try it both ways. You know, as far as applying this concealer without a pressed powder or a setting powder on top and see what it does. Does it crease or anything? I'll come back with a review. But yeah, you guys, so far, this is a lovely concealer love it love my under eyes love my entire makeup look and you can see the contour kit is just beautiful i think it just looks really nice on me i really love that contour uh kit that i found from walmart but anyways i'm gonna let you all go so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial or makeup look and a first impression on the nyx gotcha covered concealer um so yeah you guys i'll let you go so you all have a wonderful day or a wonderful evening and you is beautiful and you stay that way okay all right bye bye <laughs>